<clears throat> so today I would like to introduce the Randall Hearing Palace Wakayama, which is a very different place compared to cities such as Tokyo and Osaka. First of all, where is Wakayama? So Wakayama shares its northern border with Osaka Prefecture. The nearest international airport to Wakayama is Kansai International Airport. It's about a 10 hour flight from Sydney to Kansai International Airport. And there are direct flights from Melbourne and Brisbane to Tokyo. If you come to Japan via Kansai International Airport, Oh. You can arrive in Wakayama City. Ini ini, kamu kalau naik kereta di Jepang, sudah duduk. Hmm? The capital of Wakayama Prefecture in 14 minutes by limousine bus. Wakayama City is actually closer to the airport compared to Osaka City. By train, it takes about an hour to get to Wakayama City from Osaka and an hour and a half from Kyoto. Wakayama is warm all year round. Annual precipitation is around 1,000 mm in northern Wakayama and uh, over 2,000 mm in the south. Some mountainous regions receive higher and heavy rainfall with over 3,000 mm annually. Over the course of the year, the average daily temperature is about 15 degrees in spring, rising to an average of 27 degrees by July in summer. August is the hottest time of the year, with temperatures around 30 degrees. The humidity and heat subsides come October when autumn temperatures hover around the 15 degree, degrees mark. And then drop to six degrees as the peak of winter in January. Visitors should note that temperatures in elevated mountainous areas such as Koyasan are seeing country cooler and see occasional snowfall in winter. Temperatures in the southern coastal areas are General, generally warmer. From this point in my presentation, I would like to show you the tourist attraction of Wakayama Future, which continue to fascinate 30 million visitors every day, every year. Today, we will focus on exploring Koyasan and Kumano, some of the most sacred places in Japan. The spirit of tolerance of Koyasan and Kumano has been widely recognized. And Koesan, Kumano, and the Pink Institute are designated as UNESCO's World Heritage Site. Before we hit the road to Wakayama, let me briefly touch on our action plan against COVID-19. As you may already know, Japanese people regularly walk, wear masks, pay attention to hygiene and social distancing. The Japanese national government has encouraged businesses to set guidelines against COVID-19 specific to each industry. The worker and future government has announced that businesses should follow these guidelines and will support them in installing equipment such as hand sanitizer, air purifier, partition wall, uh, con non-contact temperature meters, thermography cameras, so subsidies provided by the Wakayama Prefecture government. Koyasan is a sacred site of single sect of Esoteric Buddhism. Koyasan is an Esoteric Buddhist, Buddhist monastery in an elevated plateau, 850 meters above sea level, in the north of the key peninsula with a population of 3,000. The actual number of people on the mountain, mountain can vary significantly depending on the season. The valley is protect, protected by surrounding forested peaks with a stream running its length. Koyasan stands at an elevation of 
approximately 850 meters in a basin surrounding, surrounded by eight peaks resembling lotus flowers. It's a holy ground for Shingon ethnic Buddhism, founded by Kukai. While Kukai was practicing mountain asceticism for years, he found a large basin within the key peninsula. It was a place far from the capital Kyoto, where an overwhelming power of nature dwells. He believed it would be the most appropriate place as a fundamental training hall for Shingon Esoteric Buddhism. He worked activ actively to pray for the country and the society, as well as to foster human resources that could help the people. Also, he went into eternal meditation to save those who were lost on their path and those who, for those who were oppressed. So there are over 100 temples, uh, many of which offer accommodation to visitors. Pigmage route connect Koyasan from the north, including the Chou Ishimichi, and uh, from the south, the main way being the Kohechi. The Nyonimichi route circles the sanctuary on its perimeter. There are many sites in Koyasan with three main zones, Danjogaran, Daimon, and Okunoin. There are more than 100 temples in a relatively small area on the mountain tops. In fact, in Japan and in the world, there is no other place where such high numbers of temples exist in such a small area. The Vermilion Diamond of the Gate is the main western entrance to Koyasan, a massive two-tier wooden structure over 25 meters tall. The three large wooden signs with the characters of Koyasan. Above, there are intricate soaring wave decorations to ward of fire. Originally, it was a three star gate which was destroyed by fire. The current structure was built in 1705. Two muscular neo guardian kings stand tall and fearsome in the side base, protecting the premises. Prakis with classical Chinese characters allude to Kukai's eternal state of meditation, stating Kobodaish. Uh, images each morning from his meditation to watch over Koyasan and offer a salvation. The Danjou Garan is the central precinct of Koyasan, the primary, sorry, primary ceremonial center where the first buildings were constructed. The design of compound com complexes both functional, functional and symbolic significance with each building serving a religious purpose. The graphical representation of the dual wonders has its epicenter here, radiating inward. The peripheral eight mountains are the cardinal petals of the lotus flower in the womb world, and in the center of this is a diamond world with Dainichi placed in the middle of the compondite stoop. The compondite is the central great pagoda of Koyasa, the main shrine of Dainichi Nurai. It's a Japanese etheric Tahoto stupa, rich with symbolism, including a three-dimensional representation of the Umu and Diamond World mandals. The globe of pillar inside the hall are painted with 16 wood servers from the Umu world, which surrounded 
the four Buddhas of the Diamond World with Dainch as the center. There are diverse interpretations of the geometrical features of the structure, uh, including representing the five sacred elements, earth, fire, water, and space. And in its enti entirety, uh, mind. Portraits of the eight great patriarchs of Singon Buddhism are painted on the interior walls, including one of Kuiko, uh, who is Kukai's mentor. Kukai, begin, Kukai began its construction in 816, but did not live to see its completion in 887. Instead, his successor, Shin, Shinzen Daitoku, was in charge of the final stages. The Kompon Daito has been periodically rebuilt, rebuilt uh, because of fires. The current structure is from 1937, made of rain-forced concrete. It's 50 meter tall and 30 meter on each side. The distinctive bright orange paint makes the buildings easy to identify. A longer two kilometers walkway towards the Okunoin, the inner sanctuary, there are thousand year old tall cypresses and countless gravestones. The spirit of tolerance of Koyasan accepts nature and different cultures as they are. Therefore, Koyasan has a great number of graves of different religions. Okunoin is inner temple of Koyasan, a forest cemetery in the upper east end of the valley and site of Kobodai's tomb. Kobodai is the founder of Koyasan. The Serene burial ground is two kilometers long with, uh, with over 300,000 gravestones, monuments, and memorials, many of which are covered in rush moss and lichens. Okunoin is a microcosm of Japanese history with rich layer of stories and symbolism. For centuries, all walks of life have desire to have their grave here, including famous feeder medieval lords and artists. There is a diversity of war memorials for both domestic and international victims. Okunoin is generally divided into sections by three bridges. The first bridge is Ichinohashi at the western entrance, the middle bridge Nakanohashi and the Okunohashi over the Tamagawa River, Jewel River in English, uh, into the inner sanctuary. On the south, on the southeast side of Okunoin is an open area with new cemetery and shorter walking route through graveyard. This is one of the most popular sites to visit in Okunoi. Koyasan was founded by great monk Kukai, famously known as Kobodaishi. He entered into a profound meditative, meditative state for the benefit of all sentient beings, waiting for the appearance of the good of the future. He is entered at the east end of Okunoin. Now we can see monk of Koyasan bring meals to him every day. In Koyasan, there are over 50 different temples that offer lodging to visitors, which are known as Shukbo. A stay in one of these temples is a beautiful way to immerse yourself in the culture of this mountainside monastery.
Each table has a different atmosphere and level of facilities and services. They are different, sorry, they are Japanese style accommodations similar to Ryoka. You can make a booking inquiry with the Koesan Shukubo Association. In addition to enjoying the architecture, art, and gardens of the temple grounds and other unique experiences, such as participating in a morning ceremony, fire ritual, taking part in an Ajkan meditation session, copying sutras, and dining on shojin ryori, traditional vegetarian cuisine. Shojin ryori is a traditional Buddhist vegetarian cuisine that can be experienced in Koyasan, especially at Shukubo Temple Stay. Directly translated shojin ryori is devotion cuisine. These special meals intimated connected to monastic life in Koyasan and part of monk's training routine. They are served on low tray table of local lacquered red or black. No strong taste or smells such as garlic, onion, and curry are used. The morning prayer ceremony at the temple rosin is called Asagonkyo, with offering and memorial rites for the souls of decree decrease. These take place in the worship hall of the temple, which are elaborately decorated. The monks are in the ceremonial zone in the floor of the hall where they sit on the floor. Guests are, sit guests are sitting in the observation area in the aft. The main monk sits in the middle of the room choreographing the ritual hall and systematically manipulating the liturgical instrument on the, on the altar. During during the did during mesmerizing rites, different stage of sutra chant are designated by sounds such as cymbals and bells. Depending on the temple, a goma fire ceremony may also be performed. Participating in a morning ceremony opens the souls of worshippers. A uh, quintessential start to a day at Koyasan. It's also great for you to join the Koyasan Okunoin Cemetery Tour at night. You can stroll the Okunoin in a different, set, different setting from the daytime while listening to the history of Koyasan, funny and scary stories in cemetery. The Choishimichi is the original pilgrimage access route to Koyasan from the Kinogawa River Valley to the north constructed by Kukai. Running the 22 kilometers long trail from Jison In Temple, located at the foot of the mountain, to Koyasan are 180 stone markers set at the different distance of 109 meters. These markers were originally made of wood and replaced with stone in 1285, some of which weigh up to 750 kilograms. They are carved in the geometric shape of a golden toe representing the five Buddhist elements. They are engraved with the distance and Sanskrit names of Buddhas. 
The trail is actually two parts, forming a linear pinguish through two world models. The first section, designed to compose data, has 180 markers with the name of the eight, uh, 180 divinities in the womb world model, and second section has 37 symbols of divine persons of the diamond world model. Present day access to the trailhead is from Kudoyama Station on the Nankai Koya line. The Nyoni Michi or Women's Pilgrimage Route is trail that circumnavigates the perimeter of Koya san and was used extensively by women were banned from entering the precincts. This 16 kilometers route linked the seven entrance gate to Koyasan, of which many featured women's poles. Present day, the route connects different walking courses and a popular walking excursion in and around Koyasan. So let's move on to the next destination, Kumano. Kumano is located in the southern part of Wakayama. The history of tourism in Japan marks its beginning with pygmy trip, and its very origin is said to be the pygmy to Kumano. The way the travelers queued up in length three line with no brakes was illustrated as ants pilgrimage to Kumano. And this has in fact become the beginning of tourism in Japan. In the modern era, trips from Ise to Kumano have become so popular that the exp expression such as seven times to Ise, three times to Kumano has become widespread. And it this trend has made its way to the present. Religious belief in the form of nature worship flourished in the ancient and medieval times and attracted many Japanese people to make a pilgrimage to Kumano, which was seen as a spiritual center of nature worship. People from all walks of life made the trip to Kumano including emperors and everyday folk from, who were eager to experience the re, revitalizing powers of the region. Kumano is the ancient name for the southern region of Key Peninsula, uh, sacred site steeped in mystery and legend. Since ancient times, this rush and rugged environment has nurtured a profound form of nature worship in which uh, mountains, rocks, forests, trees, rivers, and waterfalls are deified and revered as object of worship. Kumano's rich natural landscape is believed to be the other widely abode of gods and has been the focus of pygmage and spiritual training for centuries. When Buddhism arrived in Japan in the 6th century, Kumano became an important area of strict religion. Unique forms of Buddhism and the indigenous Shinto faith syncretized, leading to the designation of local deities and manifestation of Buddhist entities. For centuries, in this rich natural and spiritual context, the two religions merged, uh, mixed and adapted, uh, creating complex layers 
of symbolism and ritual, which were imprinted on the local geography. These are three grand shrines in Kumano that were main centers of worship. Uh, Kumano Hongu Taisha, Kumano Hayatama Taisha, Kumano Nachi Taisha. As I said, they are called the Kumano Sanza and have been the focus of pilgrimage for over 1,000 years. The mystical key mountains are a spiritual hotspot attracting, connecting, and inspiring people since prehistoric times. Two other sacred sites developed simultaneously with Kumano and Koyasa. These sites are joined by a network of pilgrimage routes and are in harmony, uh, complementing each other. Because of the outstanding universal value of Kumano Sanza, Koyasan and the corresponding pilgrimage route, Kumano Kodo, they were registered in 2004 as UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Under the name, uh, sacred sites and pilgrimage route in the key mountain range. These areas are designated as the cultural landscape. This special designation recognizes the uh, long and intimate relationship between the local people and their natural environment. The center of the pilgrimage was Kumano Sanza, which included three grand shrines of Kumano. They are uh, Kumano Hongu Taishi Grand Shrine, Kumano Hayatama Taishi Grand Shrine, and Kumano Nachi Taishi Grand Shrine, which are located within 12 to 20 to 40 kilometers of each other. So let's have a look at this map of Kumano. This map shows you the Kumano Kodo Pingwich route. There are, some, there are so many routes suitable for both beginners and skilled hikers. You can choose suitable routes that uh, meet your requirement. Sorry. The Nachi route of the Kumano Kodo pilgrimage network begins in Tanabe and traverses the key peninsula east toward Kumano Hongu Taish. In the Hongu area, two sub-routes called Dai Nichigoe and Akagigoe lead to Yuno Minemosen. From Hongu, there are two routes southeast, a mountain trail to Kumano Nachi Taisha, and a waterway route on the Kumano Gao River to Kumano Hayatama Taisha in Shingu City. The waterway route cannot be walked, but there is a traditional boat tour on the southern portion. Kumano attracts visitors not only by its beautiful natural scenery, but also with its big hearts. Kumano welcomes everyone equally without any discrimination. This pilgrimage is open to everyone based on the famous doctrine of Kumano religion, which welcomes everyone, the young and old, male and female, the rich and poor, the innocent and guilty, the beavers and non-beavers alike. During these chaotic times, especially as well as we are all going through the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, I do strongly believe that a journey to Kumano can greatly assist anyone in such a physical and spiritual rejuvenation and renewal. The cobblestone steps of Diamond Zaka slope make a photogenic backdrop for the picture on the Kumano Kodo. The uniquely paved path runs for 600 meters and is a combination of manageable steps and gentle increase. If lucky, you might catch someone walking the path in traditional hair and period costume. Alternatively, you can rent one 
at the tea house at the start of the bus. Natch waterfall with a cascade of 103, sorry, 133 meters is the highest waterfall in Japan. It's revered as the embodiment of a Shinto deity and has been a site of worship and spiritual training, training since ancient times. Uh, as a small shrine at the foot of the falls, water from the waterfall runs out through the mouth of an ornate dragon. According to legend, drinking this water grants longevity. A pilgrimage to Kubano uh, centered around the faith in the renewing powers of nature. In ancient times, completing the pilgrimage was akin to being reborn, as it was understood to be a transformative spiritual experience. Pilgrimage would leave their old lives behind to be transformed by the mystical power of Kumano and then return to their lives renewed, refreshed, and strengthened. The Kumanogawa is a river that has been an integral part of the unique culture of Kumano area since ancient times. Before the advent of modern day transportation is infrastructure like roads and railways, this river system served a vital transportation route connecting the isolated areas of the mountains and the, to the coast and the ocean going routes. The impressive, <coughs> sorry, the impressive natural features around this scenic waterway belong to the Kumar deities. A trip down the Kumargo River was a fundamental component of Kuman pilgrimage. Ride in a rustic wooden boat down the river to Hayatama Taisha, part of the pilgrimage route connecting the three great shr Kuman shrines. A journey takes 90 minutes. You can make a request for an English guide when booking. There are only two major UNESCO World Heritage Pigments Network, the Kumano Kodo and the Way. There are only two major World UNESCO World Heritage Pigments Networks, the Kumano Kodo and the Way of Camino de Santiago in Spain. Kumano and Santiago de Compostela has been working together uh, to promote world pilgrimage culture and share knowledge while respecting each other's uh, unique spiritual and cultural heritage. One of the major programs is called Dual Pilgrim. A Dual Pilgrim is someone who has walk, walked who has walked both the Kumano Kodo and the Camino de Santiago. This program was developed the, to celebrate, honor, and share the story of those who have completed both of these World Heritage Pilgrimage routes. Their pilgrims have experienced two unique spiritual landscapes going through the challenges and stages of pilgrimage adding their own personal stories to these two iconic sacred sites. Their pigments are what makes the pigment root be. After trekking Kumano Kodo, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you will be hungry. I highly recommend you to indulge yourself in Kumano Big. I promise you will be blown away by the melt in the mouth texture and sweetness of Kumano beef. 
Also, you will be surprised by our never frozen tuna in Katsura. More tuna is landed in Katsura than anywhere else in Japan. Never frozen tuna is extremely chewy, and I promise that you have never tried anything like it before. So, this is the one example of model courses. It highlights Koya-san and Kumanokodo pilgrimage route in four nights and five days. On the first day, you visit Koya-san and stay at Shukubo and uh, experience Buddhist culture. Then head to the south and stay in Honggu and enjoy onsen, a hot spring. On the third day, visit Koya visit Kumano Hongu Taisha Grand Shrine and get on the Kumanuga River Ball. After visiting Kumano Hayatama Taisha Grand Shrine, don't forget to stop over Kamikura Shrine, then move to Nachikatsura for a stay. On the following day, trek Diamond Zaku Slope, one of the most stunning pilgrimage route, and visit Kumano Nachi Taisha Grand Shrine. On the last day, it's nice for you to visit uh, Shirahama, a town renowned for all the amazing hot springs and picturesque beaches. So you can easily travel to Koyasan and Kumano by yourself by public transportation. The buses from Koyasan to Kumano run every day between April and November. This is easy way to Kumano. On the other hand, during the winter, the easiest, the easiest access way is to take a train to Tanabe through Wakayama City and a bus to Hongu. Wakayama is a hot spring paradise. You can find hot springs everywhere you go across Wakayama. On the way from Koya-san to Kumano Hongu, you are able to immerse yourself in Ryujin Onsen, one of the top three hot springs good for beauty. So one of my favorites is Kawaii Onsen, as visitors can enjoy DIY Onsen. What I mean by DIY Onsen is that you use the shovel to dig your own hot springs. Digging your own hot spring, hot spring by the river is fun and unique experience. If you are try to, if you try it and do not feel like digging your own onsen, you can enjoy those. Uh, dig, dug up by others. The hot springs is called Tsuboyu. Oh, sorry. The hot spring is called Tsuboyu, designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a, one of the only hot springs that you can face in with this designation. It is said to change its water color seven times a day and is a fascinating experience. I highly recommend it. People can privately use this small stone lined onsen for up to 30 minutes. It's a rare experience of hot spring that you can base in that is registered as World Heritage Site. You can get enough of hot springs in Wakayama as you as we have many different types of them, such as hot springs in the natural caves. Shirahama Onsen is recognized as one of the three oldest onsen in Japan. In ancient times, imperial family members and aristocrats came to Shirahama to soak themselves in hot springs. <laughs> 